drum up public support for immigration reform. The time has come for common sense, comprehensive immigration reform. The time has his speech comes one day after a group of senators from both sides of the aisle announced they have a proposal to allow illegal immigrants to stay in the U.S. The president's plan differs in one way. He doesn't want to make the legalization process contingent on increased border security. So is this good for you, the taxpayer? CBS 12's Ben Becker joins us live with tonight's Waste Watch report. Ben. Stephanie, in the past decade, we've already spent $100 billion on border security. Will billions more make a difference in the future? Border security is the largest line item in the budget of Homeland Security. U.S. Customs and Border Patrol will receive $12 billion this year, 21% of Homeland Security's $59 billion budget. Border security is part of the measure announced by senators yesterday that will allow illegal immigrants to gain temporary legal status if they pass a criminal background check pay a fine, back taxes, and learn English. Florida Senator Marco Rubio appeared on Fox News this morning blasting the president's plan on border security. For the president to try to move the goalposts on that specific requirement as an example does not bode well. I don't think more money is the answer. Andre Verona is the CEO of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce in Palm Beach County. Year after year, border security is measured by the number of illegal aliens arrested, deported, and drugs seized. But it misses the point of removing the incentive to cross the border and harnessing the economic power of those that are here. How do we put some of these immigrants to work? How do we make it legal for them to work and to contribute to society? Currently, along the southwest border, we already have an 18-foot steel fence, high-tech surveillance cameras, unmanned aerial vehicles, and new deployments of Border Patrol and National Guard. People we spoke with are split on whether more money needs to be spent securing the border. I think it's hopeless. I, they're still coming, no matter what. They're still coming across. If you have to secure your borders, you don't know who's coming in. You have to have a, a count of what's going on. And you have to be safe. That's number one. America has to be safe. A new CBS News poll finds 51% of those surveyed support a plan that allows illegal immigrants to stay in the U.S. and apply for citizenship. If you have a way